Welcome to another exciting historical journey. Today, we'll be exploring the life and legacy of an influential figure named Friedrich Ebert. Join us as we dive into the story of this remarkable leader. Friedrich Ebert was a German politician who lived during a time of great change and turmoil. He was born in 1871 and played a pivotal role in shaping the history of Germany in the early 20th century. At that time, Germany was going through a transformation, transitioning from a monarchy to a democracy. Ebert found himself at the forefront of this transition, navigating the challenges and complexities of a rapidly changing society. Ebert was a leader of the Social Democratic Party of Germany or SPD, a socialist political party that fought for the rights of workers and the creation of a fair society. During World War I, Ebert faced the daunting task of leading Germany through difficult times. In 1918, as the war was coming to an end, he became the first president of the newly formed German Republic, known as the Weimar Republic. One of the significant challenges Ebert faced was the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, which imposed harsh conditions on Germany. Ebert worked to negotiate the best possible terms for his country, but had little power to change any of the terms. The treaty was deeply unpopular among many Germans, and became known as a diktat. He led the Weimar through many challenges, and played a key role in stopping the communist attempts to take over the Weimar Republic during the Spartacists' uprising in 1919. Sadly, Ebert's life was cut short in 1925, but his impact on Germany and the Weimar Republic lived on. In 